Welcome to Northwest Profiles, a look at people, places, and events of interest in the inland Northwest. For many people, the word karate conjures up images of bare hands breaking wooden boards, explosive yells, or movies like The Karate Kid. But for Spokane resident Taro Ochinan, it's his way of life. While growing up in Okinawa, he was influenced by the karate of his father, grandfather, and uncle. Later, he became the world's second-ranking master in a particular style of karate. And for the past 20 years, he's been bringing that style to students around the world. The style is called Goju-ru. Goju means a uh, strict translation of Goju. Is a, go is a hard, steadfast. Ju is like judo, gentle. And the sense of this man's philosophy of karate do was a, uh, to produce practitioner. Uh, hopefully, he or she becomes a uh, strong inside, internally uh, strong person, uh, st steadfast inside, and uh, gentle looking outside. In other words, to try to produce good citizen. His students call him sensei, which means teacher. Once a year, students from around the world come to Spokane to learn karate firsthand from Sensei Chinin. They come to a training camp called a Gashuku, which is held in his dojo or school. Besides teaching in Spokane, Sensei Chinin makes several trips each year across the U.S. and to Europe and South Africa to teach. He's a world-class instructor. What brought him from Okinawa to Spokane? My teacher and I uh, agreed to come to the uh, United States, and we had a, a connection in Spokane, Washington. I was going to uh, Brazil uh, before I came to Spokane, but uh, Brazil was a, a little political problem that time. Uh, coup d'etat, almost coup d'etat. So I stayed there a while, and then 1969, April, I came to Spokane. That time, in 69, my vocabulary was very, very limited, probably 10, 15 uh, English words. So my beginning of the teaching karate, I suffered a little bit, because communication uh, problem between teacher to the classroom. So my, my first, uh, I remember my first English word was, uh, watch me. <laughs> so I told the students, thousand times, watch me, you watch me. So I, I sweat myself. So I really, I taught karate to my students and they taught me uh, English. Sensei Chinin is the chairman of Jundokan International, an organization that ensures that Gojuru students throughout the world are practicing according to the same set of standards. As he travels to any of the 15 countries involved in Jundokan, he makes sure that each dojo is teaching his style of karate in the same way. So my responsibility is to uh, produce a uh, more qualified international level or instruct like I am now. That's my, uh, I feel, that's my responsibility. I hope so. We need more international level qualified uh, teachers who speaks English and Spanish and a little bit Chinese and understanding each nation's uh, characters and personalities. It's not only teaching karate, it's uh, relationship, uh, communication, really. It's not that easy. <laughs> yeah. One measure of Sensei Chinin's prowess as an instructor is the fact that his students travel thousands of miles to train with him. He's just a superlative teacher, and it's just the way that he presents himself, his instruction, and the quality of the other individuals that are here. He's a very, very uh, kind individual. He, uh, no matter who you are or what you are in your karate training, he'll um, help you to the best of his ability. Either a white belt or a black belt, um, he doesn't care. His quality or his, um, his um, depth is that he will take that person and do the best that he can with him, no matter who they are. Besides karate, Sensei loves gardening, and his home shows it. He could live in Tokyo or any other major center of karate, 
but the climate and geography and the people of Spokane keep him here. Karate is Teru Ochinan's way of life. It is not just conditioning and training, it is much more. Number one, self-defense. Number two, uh, we will receive many, many benefit, beneficial things from karate do training. For example, body shape, conditioning, coordination, maybe self-confidence, inner confidence. And all together, we become a uh, good citizen. We all, someday we must pay back to our uh, community because we are, we're not living alone. This is society. So we must contribute our own society. So that's my idea of karate. Self-defense, number one. 